Welcome everybody to today's video. Um, and we have a quick unboxing of the newest Mercurial Vapor 13 colorway. Um, tech specs, of course, are gonna be nothing different. Um, it's just the color. It was supposed to be the Euro um, 2020 um, colorway. Uh, but I think they've scratched that since it's not going to be till next year. Um, so now I think they just call it the neighborhood pack. Um, and from what I've learned or did some research on, it has a whole bunch of coordinates on it, which are just different cities where um, they, uh, I guess, famous footballers are from. Um, I know they had Madrid, I believe Barcelona, somewhere in France. Um, so I didn't, I didn't look up I, I'm, the coordinates. I'm pretty sure you can. Um, I chose not to do that. I just want to take a look at the shoe, um, see my thoughts, see if I like the colorway. Initially, I said I wasn't going to get these. Um, but temptation got to me, and here we are. So the handy dandy knife. Um, I kind of... I like doing unboxings because it really is just my thoughts on the shoe, on the colorway, on if I like it or not. Um, because, you know, you can see pictures, but then sometimes you just don't like the shoe in hand. Um, but as far as having to do, like, tech specs and all that, you know, it's basically you can do that the first time and the only time. Um, so it makes it a little bit difficult to actually make full on videos. Other people I've seen can talk and talk and talk about a shoe, even if it's the same shoe that they've already reviewed. I really can't do that. And I feel like I would just be blabbing and saying a whole bunch of gibberish. In case you're wondering why I don't do more of the whole, you know, tech specs aspect of the shoe. I like to do it the first time and leave it at that and move on. You know, I just basically want to show you guys the colors. That way you guys can look at them and decide if you want to get them based on the colorway because, I mean, the tech specs really ain't, they're not changing unless it's a whole different shoe. Uh, oh, and by the way, guys, um, you can get your official Eco Dynamic merch. Um, I'm wearing this one. This is a new um, um, technique. This is what I will be selling the shirts based off this. The other one was just the ones, if you watch my video of my merch, that was just the concept. So it kind of had the whole um, ink paper around it. This is actually going to be what it's going to look like. It'll have, um, it's vinyl and this is a green print. I don't know if you guys can tell. I can do different colors. We can do different color shirts, um, whatever you like. So keep hitting me up. Um, if you want one of these, you want to try or the other one. Um, and maybe in, in a few months, you know, I'll put out something new, a different design. Um, like I said, it helps me, it helps keep this channel going, um, because like I said, you just never know. Maybe one day I'll want to quit Nike and it'll be tougher for me to, to buy these shoes to show you guys. Um, so it adds a little to me, not gonna lie, it helps me out. Um, I've invested, I've invested a lot into, um, the shirt business, so I'm not just doing, um, my merch. Also, I customize shirts, so if you have a picture um, or something that you would like done. I can also do that. Um, very, very reasonable prices, um, good shipping rates. So uh, maybe you don't want necessarily one of these shirts, but if you want something of your own or design that you want uh, and you just don't know where to start or, or what, go ahead and message me and we can talk. But now let's get back to the thing that you really came for, which is the shoes, um, 10 and a half. As always, you'll never see me get a different size unless it's a leather cleat and usually I go half size down. I don't think I'd ever go up. I did go up on one shoe uh, and it's size 11, but just because I couldn't find the shoe um, anywhere else and I wasn't willing to pay the prices that they wanted in my size. Um, I haven't used it. I, it's more just to kind of have. It was a very cheap deal, good deal. Um, if I would try to use it, I probably would put a, um, another um, insole in it. But then I feel like you lose stability in your heel. So that just brings up my point. And another point, just wear 
your correct size. Don't do nothing bigger. Um, I work at the store, obviously, and a lot of parents want to come in and, you know, I understand they want to get their sh um, their kids shoes that are bigger. And that's fine, I guess, if you want for um, school. Um, you can your tennis shoes those can be a little bit bigger so you can grow in but football boots you, you know when they do that and I'm trying to tell them no it makes me cringe a little bit you know and I understand you know money is tight sometimes and or we don't always have the necessary funds that um, we need um, but try 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 you know to get all your football boots you know if you're a parent and you're watching this for your kid, just try to get in their size. It's just way better for them, you know, and they'll be able to play comfortably because you don't, especially if it's a kid just starting out, um, you don't want to, they, you know, they could be uncomfortable and not, you know, play well. And that might kind of deter them from wanting to continue, you know, for some reason, if they didn't um, um, perform the way they wanted to or thought they could. And especially if they're new to the sport, um, you know, it, it, it could kind of, deter them from coming back and we want more soccer players especially here in the u.s oh yeah as well if you want the t-shirts most likely have to be in the u.s i never looked into international shipping um so um yeah just be used in, in the u.s and i will probably be doing a giveaway for a couple of shirts in the future so stay tuned for that but back to the shoe like i was saying ten and a half um get your size i get my size we open it up right away you know, these, this colorway kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, do you remember, you guys remember the shoe that they um, gave Luka Modric um, when he won the, that, the, what was it, the World Player, FIFA World Player of the Year? I don't even remember. Um, but it kind of reminds me of those colors, and it kind of reminds me of resemblance of the, the Neymar version um, with a color. So this is it right here. Um, a lot of people said that it looked like, uh, Adidas or Nike copied the Adidas Yeezy design. Um, it looks better in person. I will say that. I didn't know if I was going to like um, this thing right here. But as you can see right here, let me show you guys. Here are the coordinates of those things that I was talking about. These are just different cities. Um, I And then, oh, okay, see, I didn't know this, but no, I don't know if this camera will pick them up. But they are along all right here. Go along. See if this camera can get it. Um, I don't. I don't think you can really see that. So that's that's kind of cool. A little bit cool detail. Um, like I said, I really like Nike when they do this type of stuff. When they put in little details in the shoe, because yes, they're going to get messed up and 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 all that. But you know, you still like them to put the the thought into the shoe. I really like this Nike, these Nike um, swooshes that are kind of like that. They multiply them. I think that is, is, is pretty cool. Any any time that Nike um, messes with a logo or does something of theirs, you know, it's a big deal because, you know, that's what their logo, that's what they built on. You don't really see a lot of um, companies changing that. So the fact that they turn this into like a lightning bolt, um, it's kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense if you're going to be fast, you know, fast as lightning. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And then in the inside, you got your, um, it says Nike football, Nike football in, in different languages. Uh, let's see if you can get that right there. Right there. It's got the little, um, map. I would imagine it's probably due to the country or the languages of the countries that are going to, that we're going to be in Euro um, 2020. Uh, and here's the other one. It's the same thing. Um, like I said, again, I did not think I was going to like these at all. But having them in hand are kind of cool. And the good thing about these, this, for some reason, the, I, in my personal experience anyway, the Vapor um, 13 or the um, Superfly 6 or 7, the, um, they are a little bit better to keep clean or to clean, I guess, than the, than the 12 and the 6, uh, based on my opinion. 
Oh, and then here we go. This is kind of a neat string bag. Are you guys ready? You ready for it? This is this is really what you pay all the money for for the two hundred and fifty dollar price tag or whatever it is. It's for this. They actually did a went into a lot of thought in this one, and look at that. That's kind of cool. They added um, a world map, and then I believe these are probably all the coordinates that they have on the shoe placed throughout the shoe. Um, so yeah, that's kind of cool. Something different. Um, I guess if you're going to get a string bag, you want it to have... Oh, okay. So yeah, I didn't even see. The, you miss the details when you don't pay attention. So you can see there's red dots all over this map. So I imagine that's where the coordinates are. But I did watch um, a video on somebody that they said in another YouTuber. And he said he looked up the coordinates and somewhere off just a little bit where they're supposed to be but this Mexico City I wonder why they chose to put Mexico City or something from Mexico and not any anything in the US um, but I don't know <laughs> but here are um, shoes uh, what is the official colorway it says metallic bomber gray and black and then it doesn't say, well, I guess maybe metallic bomber is this, the red part? I don't know. Uh, and then it's kind of got a weird, like, um, I don't know. When the light hits it, kind of changes the silver color a little bit. And who doesn't love a pair of platinum, silver, gray, you know, cleats? Uh, and again, like, um... This is something, these are probably, if you're looking at these online, it doesn't do it justice. The shininess of it just changes the whole appearance in person of the shoe. Um, but again, unless unless you really need the, the different colorway, um, I would say hold out on these. Um, they are releasing um, different colorways and they're going to be a little bit different. Um, so the swoosh is going to be all across here instead. And there's going to be like a yellow colorway. And then Mbappe is going to have like his own pink colorway that I'm excited to come out or excited for those to come out. And also, I hope coming up, I can get my hands on the um, on the CR7s, the, the Safari, you know, updated version. Uh, really excited about those because I didn't get the first ones. But now, um, hopefully, I can get my hands on these ones that are coming up. Um, but that's my video. Again, remember... If you live in the U.S. and you want to order some merch, you could do me a favor. Here, this one again. And it just says, takes a big ego to fill these shoes. And then it has the soccer shoes. Again, if you want a special color, let me know. If you want the print a different color, let me know. Um, and that's my video. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.